So I know a lot of times I post videos on workout videos or gym equipment reviews or assembly videos, but today I want to kind of take a second. And if you don't know me personally, today I'm gonna to tell you my full story from how I grew up, my college, my education, my business, my family. I'm gonna give you my full story of who I am and I think that's something where a lot of times I get caught up in the workouts and the gym equipment reviews, but I really want to tell you my story and, and who I am and, and if you're interested in that, stay tuned, sit back, and we'll go through my full story. So I grew up in Council Bluffs, Iowa. I have two awesome parents and a sister. I grew up playing sports, basketball and baseball were my two main sports, but baseball has always kind of been my first love. And I think that's really where I started to learn how to work for something um, and really dream big. And, and my biggest dream when I was a kid, I mean, from, from when I was super young, I wanted to be a New York Yankee and, and I really thought that I was gonna be a New York Yankee. My dad is a diehard Yankees fan and I'm just the same way. Um, I love the Yankees. And I think that's the first thing, like I said, where I really started to dream big. And I really have my parents to thank for always kind of supporting that dream. They, they always supported it and they never said, oh, that's stupid, you're not gonna be a Yankee. They always told me, you know, like, dream big and, and always have big goals. And I really think that's the first place of where my mindset started of really trying to set your goals high um, and never let anybody tell you that anything is stupid or that you can't do something. So like I said, growing up playing sports, I love to be active. I love to play outside. And that's where I really started to fall in love with, with just activity and movement. And then kind of late middle school, early high school, that's when I really started to fall in love with fitness. I love the idea of building your body and getting stronger and putting in hard work and, and really seeing that pay off. It also paid off in sports too as well, but throughout high school, I really started to fall more in love with fitness. And from an early on in high school, I really knew that, that I really wanted to be a personal trainer, that I wanted to help other people feel that way. I wanted to help other people achieve their fitness goals. Um, so I've really known for a long time what it is exactly that I wanted to do. So after I graduated high school, I went to college and I studied kinesiology and exercise science at Iowa State, where I graduated with a bachelor's degree in kinesiology with an emphasis on exercise science. I love reading articles and getting information on fitness and getting information on this certain muscle or this certain exercise or really just reading a lot of the anatomy. And, and that's something that's always fascinated me. And it's always been a, a big passion of mine is really understanding the body, under, understanding how to interpret that information and how can we use that in the gym so that we can have the most effective workouts so that we can see the most amount of progress in the shortest amount of time. So throughout college, I also worked as a personal trainer. And then right after I graduated, I started a job as a personal trainer. That's where my career really started. Um, I had some really good mentors along the way. Not only that did they believe in me, but they also, they kind of guided me and showed me the business side of things and showed me the importance of, of certain things to really set yourself up to be successful. Personal training can sometimes be a grind and and that's something where, like I said, I had some good mentors along the way early that really kind of framed it and gave me goals to achieve and, and really tried to push me to be my best. And if you give me a goal, I'm always going to try and aim to hit that goal. That's something where I think they saw that in me um, and they really tried to set the goal and set the bar because they knew that I would work hard to achieve that. Fast forward a couple of years and right around the time that COVID hit is when I met my fiance now. Um, we were both trainers and we actually met at the gym. Um, she actually came up to me first. People always ask like, how did you meet? She actually came up to me first. Um, I was shitting my pants. <laughs> uh, I was in the middle of like a leg workout. I was like dying. She came up and talked to me and just had a, a general conversation. And um, yeah, we just kind of stayed in touch. And then after that, um, we finally went out on our first date. Um, and the rest is kind of history. But so at the end of 2022, actually in October, um, on Alyssa's birthday, I actually asked to marry her. So we were getting married in September of 2023. So September of this year. Um, and that was, that was an amazing moment. Um, Alyssa is, is honestly, she's, she's my best friend. Um, she's, that sounds so cliche, but, but she's really everything to me. Like we are best friends. Um, we really get along well with each other. Training partners, like we're on the same philosophy of training. And that's something that I think is really cool in our relationship that we both are trainers and we have slightly different ideas, but we don't clash. We, we come together and we mesh really well. Um, and I think that's something that's really bonds us together really well. Is we have these slightly different training philosophies, but we just come together and we just feed off of each other. And 
You know, she's an amazing partner in life. She's an amazing business partner. She's an amazing mother to our children. She's an amazing friend. Um, so, like I said, I'm super excited. I'm super stoked to marry Alyssa this year. She's the woman of my dreams. Um, actually, I'm gonna be bulking for like another like eight to 10 weeks. Um, like I said, we're getting married in September and I'm actually gonna almost treat like our wedding. Like I wanna get in the best shape of my life. Like I wanna be my best possible version for Alyssa on our wedding day. So I'm gonna do like a full cut series where I'm really gonna try and cut down, um, get nice and lean. I'm gonna show you that full process. So stay tuned for that one. That one's coming soon. Like I said, we're gonna try and focus on building a little more muscle, a little more strength over the next like eight to 12 weeks. Um, but training for September, really cutting down. Like I said, for a wedding, I wanna be in the best possible shape of my life. Um, so that's something to look forward to. But throughout COVID, we actually both lost our jobs because the commercial gym that we were working for were actually shut down. So throughout COVID, we were like meeting people at tracks and we were going to people's houses and, and we had a lot of people that we were training. And it was at that point where we both kind of came up with this idea that we should open up our own gym. We should have our own place where we can train people, we can do it our way, we can really build a community of people. So back in 2021, that's what we did. We opened up Fit Grind, which is our personal training and small group training business here in Omaha, Nebraska. We've been in business for two years and, and it's really been an awesome experience. It's been something where I've grown so much as a person, as an individual. It's really helped me develop my own skills as a personal trainer, just to be the best possible personal trainer that I can be not only to market the gym, but to market myself and to help people reach their fitness goals and, and just really be a good positive example for people. So we actually opened up the gym, like I said, in 2021 where COVID was still rampant and we had a lot of people that are like, what in the heck are you doing? Like, why are you opening up a gym? It's, it's the middle of a pandemic. Like, what are you possibly doing? And I think that, that we both knew, I've always known for a long time that I wanted to own my own gym. Alyssa's the same way. She, she's always known that she's wanted to open her own gym. And I think this was just an opportunity time where we both believed in ourselves. We both wanted to work for ourselves. We both wanted to grow something that was ours. And that's the biggest thing that in order to have success in life, you, you need to kind of take some risks. Obviously you don't want to take these just random risks that aren't calculated, but in order to be successful, you do have to take some calculated risks. And that's something where we took ours and, and I would never look back. I mean, it's been awesome. It's been a growth. Don't get me wrong. It's been challenging, but anything that's worth doing is worth doing well. And anything that you do in life that challenges you, um, I think that it's only going to make you grow and it's only going to make you sharpen your tools and it's just going to make you better. So Alyssa has two boys from her previous marriage. They're 10 and seven. Um, and those are my dudes, Wes and crew. It's been fun to be a part of their life um, and just to be someone and, and just to be there as they've grown up. It's been fun. I've, I've been to, with Alyssa for three years. Um, so I've seen them grow over the last three years to when they were like four and six when I first met them. And it's just been a fun experience to, to watch them grow. And then back in 2021, me and Alyssa also had a son named Cashton. Um, and that really changed my life when, when we had Cashton. Um, Cashton was actually born three months early. So, so he was born at 29 weeks and he was three pounds when he was born. So he was an emergency C-section where things were pretty rough there for a while. Um, we were, he was in the NICU for three months and he was on oxygen and things were pretty rough. And, and really like that, that was a really hard time in my life and a really hard time in Alyssa's life. But I, I really think that anything that is challenging in life, it, it's only gonna make you grow as a person it really kind of opens up your eyes to what's important in life. You know, when you have kids, if you have kids, you'll understand. If you don't have kids, when you have kids, you'll get it someday. Like it's so cliche, but your life will change forever. Um, you realize that you're responsible for this person and, and it really just makes you want to be the best possible version of yourself. I mean, that's something where my kids, Wes, crew, Cash, Alyssa, my fiance, like, they're really my best motivators because those are the people that make me want to be the best version of myself. Those are the people that it gets me up early in the morning that lights my fire to work freaking hard to grow our business, grow the brand. Um, and really like just that family aspect is something that will change your life. So if you have a family, if you have kids, have a wife, fiance, boyfriend, husband, whatever you have, you understand this, that, that that's really what's most important in life. And, and that's really what keeps you going. And that's what really motivates you. So, those are my big motivators is my family. That's really what, what gets me up in the morning. Um, it really lights that fire underneath of me. 
Fast forward, Cash is now 18 months old. He's doing well. You would never know that he was born three months early. He's talking and walking, and we got him in the gym. We have that torque tank M1 push sled, um, and he pushes that thing up and down. Like just last night, I had him in here. I got done with the training session, and he literally pushed it up and down like 15 times in a row. It was crazy. It was super awesome. So that's the kind of stuff that gets me stoked, and that's what's really cool about having a small business is you get to involve your friends and your family in the business, and it's really where you can really just start to create this community of of what kind of standard that you want to set and what kind of, of gym and what kind of environment do you want to provide for people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to kind of get this out there that if you don't know me personally, that's a little bit about myself. I am a fiance, about to be a husband. I'm a father, I'm a friend, I'm a son, I'm a brother, I'm a business owner, I'm a personal trainer. These are all things that describe me as a person and I sometimes I get caught up in like, you know, the specific workout and the gym equipment review, but sometimes I forget that I'm trying to build a community here on YouTube and I want you to know who I am, especially if you don't know me personally or you don't live here in Omaha and you don't know me. I kind of want you to get to know who I am. Feel free to leave comments down in the comments section if you want to introduce yourself or tell me things about yourself. If you have questions on anything, let me know. I will get back to you if you comment down in the comment section below. But that is a little bit about myself. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.